Once you start getting into the end game of mechanism, you probably want to start looking at making fission reactors like this. That's, however, how do we fuel them? Well, I give you here fissile fuel. Fissile fuel is made in a isotropic centrifuge, and that is how we're going to fuel our fission reactors. Now, I've just turned around as I'm making this tutorial, and can see my fission reactor has actually um, had a <laughs> meltdown, which is pretty funny, but we'll just ignore that for the purpose of this video. Now, making fissile fuel is not the most simple thing in the world. It is quite a complex process. I'm going to dumb it down for you into sections so that we can learn how to do it easily. So this here is the isotropic centrifuge, and it's going to turn uranium hexafluoride into fissile fuel. Now, one way I find it easier to actually build these things is work it backwards. If you know your fission reactor is going to be here, then let's start off by building the isotopic centrifuge and work it back rather than doing it from start to finish. I actually find this way is much easier. So I've color coded using wool what we're making and where. Green here is fissile fuel. Yellow is uranium oxide. Hydrofluoric acid is dark gray. Water vapor is light gray. And red is sulfur trioxide. And these are the few main things we're going to need for this setup here. You can see here, this is how I have set mine up. Let's start off then with what we need on the left hand side. So basically to make fissile fuel, in a chemical infuser, you're going to put hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide. Together in a chemical infuser, that will make uranium hexafluoride. And then you pump that uranium hexafluoride into the isotopic centrifuge and it simply makes fissile fuel. So on the left hand side then, on the right hand side even, because uh, it's backwards, we have uranium oxide. So how do we make that? Well, starting off, we're going to pump into an enrichment chamber uranium. So uranium ingots are going to make yellow cake uranium, as you will see here. And that is going to go into a chemical oxidizer. We're going to chemically oxidize the yellow cake uranium into uranium oxide. And that part is really simple. So again, put uranium ingots into an enrichment chamber. Then that makes yellow cake uranium and put them into a chemical oxidizer to make uranium oxide. And that is one part or one half done. Now the complex part is making the hydrofluoric acid. So what we're probably going to do is start from the start here. So you're going to need to make brine. I will assume at this point you know how to make a thermal evaporation block. If you don't, I will leave a link in the description to my mechanism playlist. I have got a full tutorial on how to use this entire thing you see before you. As a refresher, if you don't know, we're turning water into brine. So we're turning water into brine, pumping it out, and that's going into an electrolytic separator. We're separating the brine into sodium, which we're going to dump the excess of. We do not care about the sodium. And the other half is chlorine. So we're pumping out the chlorine of the right-hand side of the electrolytic separator into a chemical infuser. Now, the chemical infuser will need the chlorine and also hydrogen. So you can see up here, I'm taking an electrolytic separator making water into hydrogen and oxygen. I am going to need the oxygen, so save that as well, but we're pumping the hydrogen up into a chemical infuser with our chlorine, and that will make hydrogen chloride. You may be using this for your ore uh, processing, etc., and you may be able to already use this from somewhere else. So we're making hydrogen chloride, and that's going into a chemical injection chamber. What we're going to put in this chemical injection chamber is gunpowder. And that's going to turn the gunpowder into sulfur dust. So again, just to recap, make brine in a thermal evap. And then separate the brine in an electrolytic separator into chlorine, dumping the sodium. Put that chlorine into a chemical infuser with hydrogen from your water electrolytic separator into hydrogen chloride. And then we're going to put 
chemical injection chamber with that hydrogen chloride gunpowder again you may already be doing this from your ore processing if you're doing five times ore processing you will have already set this up and you actually can just skip up to here so that's going to make it into sulfur we're then going to put the sulfur into a chemical oxidizer sulfur in the chemical oxidizer makes it into sulfur dioxide and you're going to put that into another chemical infuser and that's where the oxygen comes in from your electrolytic separator put the oxygen and the sulfur dioxide in with the uh, into a chemical infuser and that will make sulfur trioxide and that's where if you are five times all processing already you will already be up to and you can maybe just use the sulfur trioxide from that processing line if you wish you're then going to put that sulfur trioxide into another chemical infuser this time with water vapor which is really simple to make pump out water into a rotary condensator to make water vapor and then put it into the chemical infuser so the sulfur trioxide goes in with water vapor to make sulfuric acid pump that sulfuric acid into a chemical dissolution chamber and you're going to do that with fluorite blocks and what that will do is it will basically melt down the fluorite block in the sulfuric acid into hydrofluoric acid and of course with the uranium oxide that you made earlier that is going to make uranium hexafluoride that goes in your isotopic centrifuge to make fissile fuel let's just recap everything we've done so we know exactly what we're doing we're taking uranium in an enrichment chamber to make yellow cake uranium going into a chemical oxidizer to make uranium oxide and that then goes into our isotopic centrifuge to make the fissile fuel the other side is hydrofluoric acid which is made by putting brine into an electrolytic separator dumping the sodium and taking out the chlorine into a chemical infuser you're going to use hydrogen from an electrolytic separator with water with that chlorine to make hydro hydrogen chloride the hydrogen chloride goes into a chemical injection chamber where we're basically using gunpowder with the hydrogen chloride into sulfur making sulfur dioxide with it in a chemical oxidizer putting that in with oxygen will make sulfur trioxide put that into a chemical infuser with water vapor which remember is by putting water through a rotary condensator decondensating it into water vapor so sulfur trioxide and water vapor into sulfuric acid pump that into a chemical dissolution chamber with fluorite blocks and that will turn it into your hydrofluoric acid i'm just going to zoom out and show it to you again so you've got uranium there this yellow one is making uranium oxide so maybe if you're making this just zoom out here on my video and go okay uranium oxide is on the yellow bit let me look how to make that and i'll put it into here and i'll make my isotopic here and then go right okay next thing i'm going to do is make my water vapor and i'm going to do it on the light gray bit and then go right i now i'm going to make the sulfuric trioxide that's on the red route i'm going to do it like there to where javier's done it and then i'm going to make my oh my god i've forgotten my hydrofluoric acid from those you know the light gray and the red one down the dark gray route because what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in the description what each route does so you can look at this now and go okay i'm just going to do each chunk separately and then bring it all together as per what javier showed me and in the description hopefully that's a digestible way for you to learn it because this is a very complex thing that we are making do also check out my reactor i am doing fission and turbine um guides they will also be in the playlist that you see in the description for mechanism and i will be doing fusion uh, reactors etc as well after that you pretty much have a complete mechanism guide on my channel for you if you did find this video useful please do also consider joining my patreon which is in the description below which really helps support me and don't forget to subscribe of course